Welcome to Mongoose Coding. Here we'll cover a popular document automation solution that we provide for contracting companies. So I think we all know some people who have had some late evenings finishing up a contract or a proposal. Well this type of tool is super valuable because it automates that process. So the tool works by having a user place project information into an Excel dashboard. And then the user presses a button, the dashboard opens up templates, fills them out, and stores them into folders on the network as completed documents. In addition to the information the user supplies, we can link the dashboard with a database. And in this case, we link the dashboard with our client's Sage Timberline database to pull through vendor information. So we're on the front page of the tool now. You can see the green section has our forms and the orange section has our vendors. We currently have two vendors on this job and we have one project level form and six vendor level forms. So that means for each vendor, we're gonna fill out and print six forms except if we turn some of the forms off. Then for each of these vendors, we would only print out the performance and the payment bonds. Likewise, you can turn off vendors. But let's keep everything turned on for the sake of the example. We mentioned the user adding job information to the dashboard. So that's what these two tabs are for, your project info and your vendor info tab. They're very straightforward. You just type in the information specific to the job here, names and addresses, etc. Complementary to the information tabs, I've unhidden the keyword tabs. Inside the keyword tabs are the keywords that the dashboard searches for when populating all of the templates. So let's click on the project keywords tab. Wherever the dashboard finds pound sign project name in any of the templates, it'll replace that value with the value in this cell, plumbing and roofing replacement. So let's take a look at some of the templates. Here's the folder the dashboard's contained in. Let's go to the templates folder and let's open up the subcontract agreement. So you already see the keywords. Here's pound sign contractor address, pound sign contractor city. And so all of these keywords will be replaced with the values in the Excel dashboard. And the best thing about using these keywords is that every bit of the layout and the format and the content of the templates can change. So if you have a total redesign of your contract, just put the keywords where they need to be and the tool will still work. So these keywords are bold and so the values replaced will be in bold. Likewise, these keywords are plain text, and so the values replaced will also be plain text. So let's go back to the dashboard and add a vendor. This way you can see how the dashboard is integrated with the Sage Timberline database and how the data is auto-populated. So we have two vendors now, you can see down here. Let's go to the Vendor Information tab, and you can see we have two vendors here. All of this data is automatically populated from the database. So let's go ahead and add one more, and we'll see more information there. So I just typed in the ID or the key for the vendor that I'd like to add. So we have one more vendor right down here, it's MC Company. We go back to the Information tab, and you can see MC Company was added down here automatically. Okay, so let's generate some forms. First, let's look at the folder structure. We're in our Templates folder now, we'll go up one level. After we generate the forms, we should see a new folder created for this project. Inside that folder will be a folder for each vendor. So here we go. Yes, we have everything completed. So here's the status window. This is telling us how far along we are. We're generating 19 forms, six for each of the three vendors, and then one subcontract. So each time the number changes, the tool is opening up a new Word template in the background. It's filling out the keywords, converting to PDF, and saving it into a new folder. And this last template should be an Excel file. So there we are. Let's go check out the folder structure. So here's the new folder that was created. It's named by the project number hyphen the project name. And here are all the three folders for each of the vendors. The vendor ID hyphen the vendor name. And here's the subcontract agreement for this specific job. Let's open it up and check out the keywords that were replaced. So you can see the address and all the other keywords were auto-populated. So last thing, let's look into the vendor folders. First, you can see a PDF was made for the subcontract agreement. We'll go into the ABC company here. You can see some text files were created for later use an extra folder for later use, and the filled out documents are in here. You can see we have PDFs, Excel file, here's two Word documents. So it's clear this type of tool saves a lot of time. Just in this video we created a contract agreement and 18 other forms. With entering the data into the dashboard, this may have just taken 10 or 15 minutes. And on top of saving time, automating your documents eliminates mistakes and standardizes everything. And one thing we didn't showcase in this video is emailing the documents. After we complete the templates, we can have them emailed to the right people. 
So if you have questions on what else this type of tool can do, or if you think you can use a tool like this, give us a ring, send us an email, we'd love to talk to you. Again, this is Mongoose Coding, your experts in Excel. Thanks a lot, talk to you soon.